Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we're checking out another knife from SOG. This is the SOG Team Leader. This is an interesting knife, not really well known in their lineup, but a knife worth uh, a look at, particularly if you're looking at either full flat grinds or you just want a really nice camp knife or something like that. This is going to be a great blade for you. Let's go ahead and look at some basic specs. We'll jump into some field testing here. You get, it comes with a really cheap subpar nylon sheath that you're checking out here. It's got you know a nice big belt loop. Uh, you know, nylon obviously, no drainage holes, stitching, and then just Velcro strap that easily the knife can come straight out. You can see there, that knife just pulled straight out and the Velcro strap is still in place. So that's pretty sad. But here's the knife. Uh, it is 10 and a quarter inches long, five inch blade, five and a quarter inch handle, made out of Oss 8 steel Rockwell hardness, 57 to 58. Uh, great blade there, quarter, excuse me, uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick back here, and then tapers down to a really nice, fine, precise tip. Full flat grind, nice blade, razor sharp out of the box. Glass reinforced nylon handles, scales are bolted in on either side, lanyard holes you can see back there, a nice set of jimping, jimping along the handle there as well. Uh, just a great overall knife in my opinion. I mean, just fills out my large size gloves really well. I love that aspect of the knife. Looks and feels just very comfortable. And I love the fact that these have bolted on handle scales. The knives that have that seem to just be a little bit more durable for me. You know, I can really baton on them if I have to really just, you know, if the, the handle ever loosens up, I can just tighten them back up. Whereas uh, handles that are fully enclosed are a lot more difficult uh, if you loosen up the handle. Obviously, the, the knife is almost broken. So uh, those are the, just the basic kind of fit and feel for you. Uh, let's go ahead and jump on into some field testing. This full flat grind is amazing when it comes to slicing and carving. I love it. It's very easy to wield. It's so sharp. Just lends itself to be an amazing slicer. You can see there, I mean, just super easy for me. I'm not putting any pressure and effort into this knife uh, to make that fire stick, you know, do that feathering, whatever I would need to. You know, carving and whittling and those type of things. I mean, that's, this edge, that's what it excels at, man. It's just slicing food prep, you know, around the campsite. You're having to prepare dinner, as well as start your fire, make some kindling for it, those type of things. Handle feels very comfortable in my hand this way, just doing these push cuts like that. Nice amount of jimping right there all along the back spine. Feels really good and almost without gloves. You know, you should always be using gloves, but I like to test knives out without gloves because sometimes in a survival situation, you may not have gloves on you. You weren't planning on using your knife, so you didn't take gloves and you're trying to figure it out uh, and use it. And I will say that they're almost to the point of being semi-painful when I'm doing these type of push cuts like that, which with gloves on is going to be amazing. They're slightly uncomfortable, barehanded for extended use, that, that jimping, which just means that they did a good job. It's very aggressive, feels very good. But other than that, I mean, just feels awesome. My hand fills out plenty of my hand with plenty of room to spare. And uh, feathering, detail work, that type of stuff is a breeze with the SOG Team Leader. There we go. So uh, it's probably about two and a half inches, maybe two, on that little piece of wood there. Chopping with the SOG Team Leader. As you can see, I mean, it's not gonna be a great chopper for you. This is not your designated chopping knife. Uh, it's not gonna do a fantastic job. It will do better than the SOG Seal Pup, but uh, there are much better knives on the market. It's just the weight. You'll still, even though it's heavier than the SOG Seal Pup and some of those other lighter knives, you know, at about seven and a half ounces, this SOG Team Leader, uh, it's just not, it just doesn't have the weight behind it to be able to do a lot of your chopping tasks. It'll do very minor chopping, but this is not your go-to chopper you for sure. One of the sure. utility things that this SOG Team Leader can do well is just going right through. This is one ton rated cord, and uh, I don't even really have to work at it. I can just pull, boom, it goes right through it. You can make sections of it all day long. So, I mean, it'll cut cord, it'll cut your seat belt, you know, if you're in a Humvee and you flip over, you know, or just in your car, you're just carrying this as your car knife. I mean, this is gonna go through without, I mean, look at that. I mean, no effort at all, this uh, 
team leader will go through rope and cord it very easily, slice right through it. So you can see as I'm stabbing, I mean, it's definitely getting deep in there. That really precise tip penetrates really well and is going to get in there really, really nice. I mean, we're going in about that far on an average stab. So we're talking about probably inch and a half penetration. And But you saw that I was not torquing, you know, torquing really hard left and right, prying with it because I don't want to do that. Um, just because of how delicate, the, again, that tip is, uh, is going to lend itself to be possibly damaged without too much difficulty. So I would not recommend using this as a prior, you know, and prying open crates and popping open stuff and, you know, trying to, you know, dig out a, you know, a big hole, dig a ditch or something, you know, with this team leader. It's just not dedicated for that. But for stabbing and penetrating, you know, getting into somebody's gut or something, uh, it's going to do an awesome job. So, in conclusion, the SOG Team Leader, I think, will serve you well as a good camp knife. You know, again, performing all those chores, basically, that you've seen. I really wouldn't do much else than what, what you've seen me do with this knife. I didn't even want to baton with it because of how small it is uh, and the, the, the fragility of the tip. Uh, it could lend itself to break even under some pounding with a baton or um, I mean if you had to you could do some really thin stuff You know a little bit thinner than your wrist probably but nothing thinner than that I think it's going to excel at all your slicing cutting you know utility tasks preparing food uh, As well as a tactical knife if you did need a, just a pure stabber that you're just going to stab and thrust with I think the SOG team leader will do that job well feels very comfortable in your hand I like the exposed tang with the handle scales on either side just lends itself to be a little bit more durable You don't have to worry about the blade maybe loosening up you know if it does you just tighten them with the two bolts so uh, overall I believe for a camp knife uh, number one you know utility type of knife it's gonna excel at be a home run and if you know you're collecting sog knives you want a stainless steel whatever uh, you know this would be a great choice uh, when purchasing a knife particularly if you like full flat grinds and you like what sog does uh, the sheath is bogus I would recommend either trying to find uh, either a custom Kydex one, make one yourself, try and find one online, or the Spec Ops, as you've seen previously on a video that we've done here at Gideon's Tactical, the Spec Ops sheath, will, uh, six incher, will fit this fine. It, SOG Seal Pup nylon sheaths will not fit this knife, just so that you know. The SOG Northwest Ranger and the SOG Seal Pup will fit interchangeably in the nylon sheath, but this one just has too wide a blade and will not fit in any SOG sheath that I know of, aside from the one that it comes with, which is trash. So, I hope this helps you guys out thanks for watching stay equipped stay prepared and we'll see you out there